Latin American Youth Center presents this year's virtual gala, Our Youth Matter, Together for Hope. With your hosts, B. Solomon and Ramiro Forti. Tonight, we honor Dr. Monica Goldson, Chief Executive Officer, Prince George's County Public Schools. Dr. LaQuandra S. Nesbitt, Director, D.C. Department of Health. Janet Morgia, President and CEO, Unidos U.S. Gosno Foundation, with remarks from Trustee Kate Gillette. Youth performances, music, poetry, spoken word, and more. LAYC's 2021 Virtual Gala. This event is sponsored by Oak Point Charitable Foundation. Hi, on behalf of Oak Point Charitable Foundation, we want to wish you all a wonderful gala. We're very excited to be the Youth Investor Sponsor. We've worked with the Youth Center over the years and have seen many youth grow into wonderful adults. So enjoy the evening and thank you to Loopy, Millie, Fleur, and everyone else that we've worked with. Welcome y bienvenido. to the 2021 Latin American Youth Center Virtual, Virtual Gala. Gala. Family, friends, supporters. And if you happen to stumble upon this podcast, new friends. My name is Ramiro Forti, and we have an exciting program for you all tonight. You expect to learn about LAYC's virtual hybrid programs and hear from our amazing youth and their families. Yes. We will honor Latin American Youth Center's LAYC's community partners that have continuously strived to build and empower our communities. Because together, we are truly better. And joining me this evening is Ms. V. Sullivan. Ah, gracias, Romero. You know, I've been around the Latin American Youth Center for so many years, about 20 years now. And most recently, I've volunteered with food distribution for families with food insecurities. It's been a great ride, but you have got me beat. Wow, V. It's truly an honor to share this platform with you. My journey with LAYC began almost eight years ago as a youth participant. I am now an AmeriCorps alumni. Because of my time spent in LAYC's after school program, I learned how to become a leader. I've seen how LAYC youth are supported to achieve their goals. I am now honored to serve as the after school program coordinator for the very same program that supported me as a youth. I didn't just witness, but I was a recipient of their services. Now I'm happy to be giving back. Tonight, we are advocating on behalf of the Latin American Youth Center and Maryland Multicultural Youth Centers, a nonprofit organization whose mission focuses on empowering a diverse population of youth to achieve a successful transition into adulthood. Make sure to stay tuned and be inspired by our youth. Now let's learn a little bit more about the history of LAYC. I'm always excited to share about the history of the Latin American Youth Center, LAYC. Uh, we have been an anchor to the DC and Maryland community uh, in total over 53 years now, and it's just been incredible work to witness. Uh, we were, work was started probably in the late 60s, but we became incorporated in 74. And uh, just exciting work started right away, and, and really it was as a result of the needs of the community and there was an immigrant community that we were seeing coming from Central America in the 80s um, as well as the Caribbean and um, there weren't any services for them to actually go to and so partnerships started with the Department of Employment Services leading to creating social services as well as uh, mental health supports um, and also exploring the work around residential housing um, with the transition living program which we have. Uh, so at the heart of the work that we do, it's always been around service and really um, listening to the community and responding to those needs. Um, and we have evolved over time. And, you know, 
it was in 2005 that we expanded to Maryland. And also demographics have changed. 2016, we started to see uh, changing our demographics. We are about 46% Latino, uh, Latinx, 42% African American, and 12% other. While initially we got started to service the Latino community, it has really evolved over time and it's really continued to serve our youth primarily. There are a lot, we have a portfolio of about 50 different programs. And part of it is the, our approach to the work. We wanna make sure there's access to, and opportunities to our youth so that when they walk through our doors, um, we will meet them where they're at. They will have different needs. For example, someone may have a need around housing while someone really has academic support needs um, and another young person may need employment. So we try to create this sort of different services portfolios where young people can access those opportunities. Uh, but there's just been a lot of really exciting work to launch. Um, in 96, for example, we were one of the first organizations that launched AmeriCorps, oh. which is a, what, we have it over 25 years now. Um, and what's really incredible about that program is that probably the last time we checked, about 26% of AmeriCorps members that start with us transition to full-time staff. And that is such a great pathway or pipeline, if you will. And there are people that are invested in community, they know our communities, and they really wanna serve. So the arts has always been important to the Latin American Youth Center. Um, we have a teen center, um, media. What we wanna do is have young people uh, be comfortable and share their voice. And so the mural is just one form or a medium of uh, expression, but we have so many other ways where now beats are something that they are doing, um, incorporating in programs. Spoken word um, is another piece. Uh, radio, uh, broadcasting, uh, just giving them just different opportunities so that uh, graffiti, uh, arts, just uh, fine arts, uh, so that they're able to learn and, and like I said, continue to um, express themselves using those different mediums. And I was introduced to the Latin American Youth Center at the age of 14. Mm -hmm. And um, never in my wildest dreams did I think I would end up leading the organization 23 years later. And I, this was where my heart was. I wanted to be able to be in service of our community. And, and this was how my path led to LAYC 23 years later now leading the Latin American Youth Center. It's such a great story about LAYC and how the organization has evolved to always serve the communities. Now, we're happy to hear from LEYC's board chair, Betsy Brand. Good evening. As chair of the Latin American Youth Center Board of Directors, let me thank you for joining us this evening to celebrate and support LEYC and the amazing work they do for youth and their families. Our annual gala is our largest fundraiser. And while tonight looks different from the in-person events with hundreds of people we've held in the past, we're excited that this new format will reach even more new guests and supporters as we celebrate youth and share LAYC's journey during the pandemic. I'm Betsy Brand, and I've served on the board for almost 10 years. The mission of LAYC, to help youth successfully transition to adulthood by addressing social, emotional, academic, and career needs, has always spoken to me and drawn me in. Over the years, I've seen how LAYC has provided personalized programs, care and services to young people based on their passions, goals, and needs. At LAYC, each young person is encouraged to pursue their dreams, reach their goals, and acquire the skills and self-confidence to live a life of purpose, connection, contribution, and joy. All of our board members are dedicated to helping LAYC achieve its mission and many of them have joined in activities this past year, such as delivering food to hungry families so that we can serve more people. This evening, we celebrate our youth, our honorees, and the work of LAYC under the leadership of Lupe Quinteros Grady. Lupe and her staff have been relentless in, in responding to the needs of youth and their families. But the youth are really the stars of the evening, as you will soon hear and see. They face many barriers prior to the pandemic, and during these particularly challenging times, they've continued to demonstrate tenacity, resiliency, and hope, and achieve significant personal and academic goals, such as completing their GEDs, getting jobs, enrolling in post-secondary education, and securing stable housing. Now I'd like to recognize several of tonight's sponsors who have helped to make this work possible. The Oak Point Charitable Foundation and Julie Jensen, 
Helen E. Cook, Capital One, Morgan Stanley, Pepco, Geico, Rick and Diana England, and Wells Fargo. Thank you all. Given the challenges of the pandemic, LAYC's work has been even more important this past year. The LAYC board remains committed to supporting the staff, youth, and family, and to seeing this work continue. But we need your help to make that happen. So please, won't you consider a donation? Again, thank you so much for taking the time to join us this evening for this virtual gala and for supporting LAYC and its amazing work. Buenas noches, good evening everyone. I'm so glad to be here tonight to congratulate the Latin American Youth Center for 50 years of service in the Washington DC community. It is a fantastic organization. And I should know because I was a board member for 12 years and before that a volunteer for the organization. It really is a wonderful place making a difference in the community. And congratulations to all of the honorees tonight. Felicitaciones a todos. Thank you. Thank you, Betsy Brand and LEYC Board. The world looks a bit different today. Amidst a pandemic, striking social change, and economic hardship, just to name a few, the world has had to be nimble, and so has LEYC. And now, a youth participant from LEYC's Arts and Media program, a junior at Roosevelt High School, Catherine, otherwise known as Rin. I try to ignore it. The horrors of yesterday and today, the injustices many have to face, the anger and pain that lays in my mind because of the disgusting, inhumane ways rooted in place. Who would want such wrenching things in his face? It was hard to say the least, hard to talk about it without wanting to cry or needing to hurt. I thought not facing it would make it evanesce, but as the now usually goes, holding on for too long, Holding on to such indifference chaos can be even more detrimental. I just hate how it's almost normal now. How racism is almost normal now. We should always put a name to this type of thing. This thing that burns in the hearts of many. This thing derived from racist ideas and narrow-minded people who don't know how wrong they are. This thing, this racism like heat on a summer afternoon, like pesky mosquitoes thriving on our blood, like dancing on a beautiful stage covered in shiny knives. Racism needs to stop being glorified and start being seen as the horrible thing it is. Racism is repulsive, exhausting, and a detrimental thing that needs to be eradicated. We all need to talk about racism. It will be like eyes wide open for the first time ever. Inhale racism. Read that stuff in and accept it for how disgusting the stench is. And then exhale racism. Let it evaporate into thin air because as a society, we cannot thrive off of such inhumanity. We need to unteach these racist ideas by first acknowledging the problem first, acknowledging what racism is, and then when we become more aware, we could, ha we could have an um, open-minded future. Just imagine that. Just imagine that. Just imagine that. Very sobering to think about the impact of COVID on our families. The incredible news is that we've also witnessed the resiliency of our youth and families. Despite the pandemic, our young people are still working to reach their goals and dream as big as we continue to support them. I'd like to now introduce you to Daniela Pastol Reyes, who, much like me, started off as a youth participant and now works as an AmeriCorps member at LAYC's Maryland Multicultural Youth Center. When I first got involved with LAYC, it was in my freshman year of high school at Bladesburg High School. I heard about Youth Career Connect through the announcements and the flyers, and I thought to myself, why not join? And I just fell in love with it the first day I entered. There was positive energy, positive environment overall which then introduced me to three job coaches who have helped me tremendously along the way. Working with Daniela was such a great experience. I saw her grow and I saw her, you know, being a freshman to now becoming a young individual, young professional. We provided job readiness training to over, 
I'll say 99 students at Bladensburg. And now seeing her with the students and doing the same thing that I was doing when I was a member, it's just a great, a great feeling. She has been accepted to seven out of eight universities, which is amazing to me. Um, and I know that she will continue to persevere. I would not have thought I would be in the position that I am today. Four years ago, I would not believe I would be able to go to college, a four-year college. I thought, why settle for less? My coworkers told me, why settle for less? My superiors have told me, why settle for less? You can do so much more. You can achieve so much more. That's what I see in you. And I was blind to that. I, no words can explain how much LAYC has impacted my life. I hope you were inspired by Daniela's perseverance. We are all rooting for you, Daniela. LAYC has been committed to supporting the needs of our youth and families. There are so many ways that you can help. To make a donation, please text LAYC to 76278 anytime during tonight's broadcast to support our youth and help us addressing increasing needs due to COVID. That's right, Romero. And thank you to Cricket Wireless for sponsoring our text to give. Wondering how to donate? Text LAYC to 76278, just like this. Wondering how far your dollars will go? Well, donating just $25 can cover the cost of a GED exam for our youth. $50 covers one month of hotspot access for our youth's virtual learning. $100 provides food for an entire week. $250 funds professional certificate exams for our youth and $500 covers one full month of mental health support for our youth. As you can see, any amount can make a difference. Text LAYC to 76278 to make a meaningful change in the lives of our youth and their families. Every amount gives hope. You can make an impact. Leadership matters, and we are fortunate to have incredible leaders serving in different capacities to provide a path forward in our communities. This evening, we honor their work. Hi, my name is Carlos Mendizable, also known as Mr. M. I'm an AmeriCorps member at LAYC Maryland Multicultural Youth Center. I serve in our after-school program with middle school students that's been virtual in Prince George's County. As an AmeriCorps member, I proudly supported the registration of over 2,000 retired doctors and nurses to help at Maryland. I am a proud alum of Prince George's County Public Schools, graduate of Parkdale High School, and excited to be presenting LAYC's Our Youth Matter Award to Dr. Monica Goldson, Chief Executive Officer for Prince George's County Public Schools. Dr. Goldson is a dedicated and dynamic leader of the 20th largest school district in the nation. A product of Prince George's public school system, she spent her entire career serving students in the same community where she was raised and where she chose to raise her own family. Her career began as a mathematics teacher and eventually moved into several principal roles at different high schools. Beyond the schoolhouse, as associate superintendent for high schools, Dr. Goldson increased principal's leadership capacity and continued to build upon her career serving as Deputy Superintendent of Teaching and Learning and Chief Operating Officer that focused on student achievement and implementing policies and strategies related to quality of service delivery. We've been encouraged to partner with Dr. Goldson and her team to address the needs of our hard to reach students in ways we never imagined, such as laptops and food distributions and support of distance learning. And now it's my honor to present the award to Dr. Monica Colson, which says, in appreciation for your outstanding leadership to ensure that students in Prince George's County public schools were supported and connected during the pandemic. You embody the belief that we are stronger when we work together. Now let's hear from Dr. Goldson. I am honored to receive this prestigious award from Latin American Youth Center. I want to thank the LAYC Board of Directors, the Prince George's staff at the Maryland Multicultural Center and the 134,000 students that I am blessed to represent. They have shown us what true resilience looks like. While learning remotely from home or transitioning to in-person learning, 
our students were able to tackle barriers that exacerbated the inequities that exist in our community. Due to our partnership, LAYC staff helped us to connect with our hard to reach families to provide meals, mental health support, rental assistance, to drop off a laptop or hotspot, and continue to offer virtual after school programming to keep youth on track with their personal and professional goals. Even though we're coming close to the end of the pandemic, let's hope so. The support must still continue for our students. What appeared to be a heavy lift was made possible with just a simple call to LAYC. And for that, I am extremely grateful. Thank you for acknowledging the hard work that it takes to make sure that our students know that they're important to us in our community, in our school system, in our county. Thank you. Dr. Goldson, your leadership is commendable. LEYC will continue to partner with you to ensure our students are connected to their learning as we get ready for a new school year. Thank you, AARP, our multi-generational sponsor for supporting our families. We are now in for a real sweet treat. Reciting America is a Honey Bun is Ronald Lewis. The original text is by Kyrie Robinson. Ronald? America is a Honey Bun. Wrapped in plastic and painted with logos and brands, a country where little Debbies and hostesses are paid less than colonels and clowns. America is a Honey Bun. Sweet and soft with a bitter aftertaste. 327 million calories of ignorance with seven grams of saturated racism, eight ounces of sexism, a few tablespoons of homophobia, and surprisingly no actual honey. America is a honey bun where history is glazed over with a sugar coated topping where the lie of freedom is so sweet that we consume it despite the risk to our bodies. America is a honey bun. Hello. My name is Alfonso Guzman, and my company, J.P. Morgan Chase, is so proud to be a supporter of this year's Our Youth Matter Virtual Gala. I'm even more excited to share that I also serve as a board member on the LAYC. You know, whenever I see the young people that the LAYC serves, I'm reminded of myself at the age of 13 and 14, feeling lost and frustrated by a lack of resources with no real cl clear path forward. I, like many of these young people, also grew up in a low-income community, but I can tell you that organizations like the LAYC and contributions from supporters like you really do make a difference in shaping the course of someone's life. I've been very fortunate to have received incredible guidance over the years, and now that I'm an adult, it's important for me to give back in the hope that my journey can inspire others who want to do more. I'm proud to work for a company that understands these values and supports organizations like the LAYC. I truly believe that when our entire community does well, we're all better off. Thank you. We know our families have been impacted by the pandemic. We will get to hear Junior's story along with his parents. Me ha ayudado a La escuela me ha ayudado en la distribución de comida y me ha ayudado sobre los útiles escolares que necesité en este año que estuve estudiando. Y me ha ayudado en otras cosas también. Me ha ayudado en una computadora para recibir las clases virtuales y me ha ayudado con una chaqueta. Mi nombre es Elida García. Um, sí, la organización de LYC nos ha ayudado en medio de esta pandemia y le doy gracias también como el señor Jacobo también le doy gracias a él um, por ayudarnos eh, en medio de la pandemia con renta con distribución de comida y le ayudó a mi hijo a uh, Junior una computadora y con útiles y le doy gracias por Toda esa ayuda que nos han dado. Working in LAYC, it feels uh, it feels very good to be able to provide, and then there exists an organization that provides direct service to the families and to the communities. So I am very thankful to be working in LAYC, uh, especially because we 
we everybody who works in LAYC, I feel that we are identified with the mission and the vision and we're integrated in the community. We are so elated that Junior was in the community schools program at Coolidge High School and was able to connect to the services of LAYC to strengthen his entire family. Good evening, I am Melanie Lassiter, Senior Manager Corporate Relations with Pepco Holdings. This year, Pepco is honored to partner with Latin American Youth Center for the Our Youth Matter Virtual Gala. Congratulations to Latin American Youth Center for serving more than 5,000 youth and families since March 2020. The impactful work of the center and this year's gala honorees has truly changed lives in the greater Washington, D.C. area. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christopher Charles and I've been working with LAYC for a little over two years. Before volunteering at LAYC for six months, I've had the privilege to serve our nation, the United States Marine Corps. In my current role at LAYC, I oversee programs that test our youth for HIV and STIs and counsel them with a holistic approach. I've also been leading our COVID education efforts to ensure black and brown communities are equipped with facts that make their decisions. This year has been challenging for all of us in a time of such uncertainty Strong leadership is critical. This evening, I am thrilled to present this award to Dr. LaQuandra Nesbitt. Dr. Nesbitt, a board certified family physician, is the director of DC's Department of Health. She is a published author. While in her tenure in the district, she has addressed critical public health issues. Her leadership has been instrumental at a time when there has been many unknowns in our communities. She has been so valuable in helping communities move forward. Dr. Nesbitt has recognized the importance of educating our communities about the facts of COVID and the vaccine. She has been relentless in her efforts to advocate that all of our communities have access to the vaccine. It is my honor to present LAYC's our Youth Matter Award to Dr. LaQuandra Nesbitt, which says, in grateful appreciation of your tireless efforts and leadership to organize and educate our DC residents and ensure that our communities are safe and healthy. Thank you, Dr. Nesbitt, for all of your hard work. I want to say thank you to Mrs. Lupe Quinteros Grady and the Latin American Youth Center Board for honoring me tonight for my leadership and work over the past year to ensure the district's black and brown communities have remained educated and informed on how to stay safe and healthy during this public health emergency. Throughout this pandemic, our team at DC Health has understood that there are many myths and hesitancy within communities of color regarding COVID-19 and the COVID-19 vaccine. With guidance from Mrs. Quinteros Grady and her colleagues, on the DC Health Scientific Advisory Committee for the development and implementation of a safe, effective, and equitable COVID-19 vaccine distribution program, and a partnership with LAYC and the development of focus groups, DC Health has been working hard to ensure that all concerns are heard and we are being as transparent as possible in our messaging to black and brown communities. Transparency builds trust and as a result, Members of the community engage in preventative measures, share personal information during our contact tracing efforts, and follow recommended quarantine and isolation guidelines. The district has many health resources, 
and we know we can always do more to address the significant inequities when it comes to health among residents. It has been one of my goals to address health inequities and disparities and to provide as much education and resources to every resident to ensure that they can achieve their optimal level of health, especially during this pandemic. We know that this time has been rough on everyone and I commend LAYC for stepping up to the plate immediately by meeting the new and evolving needs of district residents virtually and safely. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, but we can't stop this pandemic without every single one of you. As long as you remember to wear a mask, keep your distance, wash your hands, choose your activities wisely, and of course, get vaccinated when it's your turn, we can put an end to the pandemic. Thank you again for this honor during LAYC's 2021 gala. It is incredible the amount of work that Dr. Nesbitt and her team have embarked upon to keep our community safe. Thank you. Here at LAYC, our youth matter. Diamond Cumberbatch is gonna give us some original thoughts about social change. Diamond? Hero, isn't that that special someone you look up to, Hero? No, it's that super guy in the sky that waves high while saving a life next to you, Hero. But what does that really mean to you? I say it's a friend that's there with you till the very end through thick and thin, even if they weren't there to begin with. I'd say it's that role model figure in your life who motivates you to fight even if you don't want to anymore. I'd say it's the right person who does the right thing even when no one's looking, <laughs> or my mom because I love her home cooking. Heroes are stereotyped. On TV, they're only there to save lives or put out a fire in front of your eyes and go in fast motion so that the dangers in life only happen in the flash. It doesn't last. But you see, heroes, that's not all they do. A hero could be just the right person, they're at the right time, the good heart. Your life doesn't have to be in danger for someone to have a major impact on you. It could be a word, it could be a gesture, it could even motivate you to lift a ton of rocks as if they were as light as a feather. Hero, hero. Wow. Thank you, Diamond, for sharing your poem, expressing your emotions and capturing the realness of the time. Our young people feel deeply and are watching us. We have a responsibility to be better, to be better for them. Truly powerful. And we have another treat for you. As you get ready to listen to one of our youngest youth participants share their experience during virtual learning amongst this pandemic. What I miss from school is staying close with my friends and being able to work together and being close with the LAYC members. I like working with LAYC because they help me a lot with my homework and I don't really have to go fast, I just have to go like how I want to do, like if I want to go slow, not, not too fast because then I would be so confused of doing my homework and if I do it fast it, it would be really hard for me and if I do it like up to how I want to do it, 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 it's easier for me to do my homework. How the nickname Chicken of the World came about was by me suddenly falling in love with chickens and I don't know why, I don't know what happened to me, but now that I have two chickens in the house, I do not want to eat chickens no more around them because I feel like they're going to get scared, plus they're my friends, so I wouldn't eat my, my friends. But sometimes there's this, is, this, there's this incident where I sometimes eat them on accident. An advice that I would give to all the kids around my age is to not give up on their homework and to not go fast so that it doesn't become hard because there's some kids that they just want to finish their homework but they don't they don't turn back to see their answers if it's okay or not and they're not sure if their answers are correct so they should really take other people's advice to 
pay attention to what they're doing and to not go really fast on their homework. And now we have a special performance from one of our MMYC youth, Paul. How are you doing, Paul? I am doing amazing today. Thank you, everyone, for having me here today. I really appreciate it. <laughs> no, it's a pleasure to have you. Uh, what school are you coming from today? I am repping High Point High School. I am currently in the 11th grade. Uh, yeah. And, and is it true that you're about to perform one of your original compositions? Yes, it's an original song called Repentance. And it's basically about uh, finding God in your life, finding a space for him, you know. And, yeah. No, that's truly amazing. And I can't wait. And I know y'all can't wait at home. So with no further ado, please give it up for Paul. I'm 
everyone. I'm so happy to be a youth leader sponsor at our Youth Matter Gala this year. First, a huge thank you to this year's awardees. Your work makes such a huge difference in the lives of so many youth and families in our region and all across the nation. And congratulations to Lupi, LAYC CEO, and her extraordinary team at the Latin American Youth Center. Thank you for your heroic efforts during COVID-19 and for all of your tremendous work. My name is Litsi Koga. I came to the Youth Center because I moved out of my house for safety reasons when I was 18. So I ended up leaving three days after my birthday with no money, no place to go, and I was so scared. And I was grateful to be referred to LAYC through another program that I was in, that was Ayura. The first time I came to LAYC, I had an interview. Through, after going through all the questions, I got a call afterwards, um, and they assigned me to a house. Um, and that's when I met my first person, which was my case manager, Stephanie Cruz, which in later on, she became like one of the most important persons in my life. And then I applied to college, which I got accepted to Montgomery College. And it was like only four months. Um, before I got my call that I was awarded with a scholarship. I had a total of 18 months. It wasn't like you have 18 months and you need to do this, this and that, but that's how I put myself to it. I knew I had 18 months and I knew I had to find and save my money, do what I had to do to be in a better place. Like I remember the goals was to be independent after that time save enough money and be ready to be living in the outside world. So when I first, when I was living with the African American family, I remember I got really, really close to my host mother. So I, I was a, I was totally a different person. I was shy, I was scared. I was like this kid who you will talk to me and I will start crying because I thought she was screaming to me. She taught me how to be have, how to respect myself and how to make people respect myself. In other words, she basically teach me how to be ready to be outside that word. Besides like the cooking, the respect, the standing for myself, standing for... I had no idea, I didn't know anything about the black culture and I'm so grateful to be able to leave, to have experienced the Latino culture, the black culture and until the day of today, I still talk to her because she really means a lot to me. When I first started the program, I had no idea how I was going to achieve my goals. And I am so grateful to have met the persons I've met in this, in this point. I'm grateful to have been part of the program, of the transition living program. I'm grateful that I was living with the family I was living in. And I'm grateful to have Stephanie as my case manager at that point. And now I'm attending Montgomery, Montgomery College, I'm studying business, and now I'm living in my own apartment, so I'm an independent person, and I still have contact with my family, with my host family and my case manager, because more than just case manager and host family, they became part of my life. LAYC is more than a program, it's more like a family. I have the distinct pleasure of presenting our Youth Matter Award to Janet Murgia, President and CEO of Unidos US. 
the nation's largest Latino civil rights and advocacy organization, where she has been serving in this role since 2005. Janet has an impressive career serving as deputy assistant to President Clinton. In 2001, she joined the University of Kansas as executive vice chancellor for university relations. Her support of LAYC over the last few decades, and in particular over the last year, has allowed LAYC to continue to provide support for our youth and families. For example, the LGBTQ Impact Award supports the drop-in center and stripes program we provide to our LGBTQ youth. They conducted focus groups of our Latino youth and families to gain a better understanding of their perspective around COVID and the vaccine. This information would help to inform their messaging. Lastly, their capacity building support will help grow LAYC, its infrastructure over the coming years. And now to present the award, which says, in appreciation for your dedication to advocate for our communities and provide leadership and meaningful partnerships, your belief in our communities inspires Thank you so much for this wonderful honor. I truly am humbled. And I want to give special thanks to a respected and dynamic leader, not only in the Latino community, but the entire DC area, your energetic CEO, Lupe Quinteros Grady. Lupe has such an incredible story. Her nearly lifelong relationship with LAYC from participating in youth programs as a teenager to becoming the head of LAYC three years ago. And many thanks to the LAYC board and staff for your hard work and deep commitment to our community. I'm very proud of the partnership between Unidos US and LAYC, which is more than three decades old. Together, we have worked on youth employment, education, support for LGBTQ Latino youth, and helping to grow the Latino voice, especially our youth in the political process. When our community and our country faced its greatest public health crisis in a century, I had no doubt that LAYC, like so many of our nearly 300 affiliates across the country, would do everything they could to help. You never closed your doors and you helped thousands of families weather the pandemic by providing food, emergency aid, technology support, and social services, among others. At Unidos US, we knew our role was to help support our organizations while they were supporting their communities. And we are very proud that our Esperanza Hope for All Fund was able to provide millions of dollars to our affiliates during this challenging time. That is the essence of what we do when we face a challenge. We come together to help each other because we know that in unity there is strength and in strength there is power. But in unity, there's also hope. That hope is reaffirmed every time I meet the young people who have participated in LAYC's programs. I see their joy in being part of such a great organization. I see their promise and their talent, and I see their hope and commitment to a better future. Let's fulfill their hopes and dreams by working together for that better future for everyone. Thank you again for this incredible honor. Muchisimas gracias y adelante. Thank you, Janet, for your inspiring words and dedication to our communities. I'm excited to be presenting LAYC's Our Youth Matter Award to the Gosno Foundation. Established in 1997, the John and Jean Gosno Foundation carries on the legacy of its namesakes, two Washington, D.C. natives who deeply valued access to education and the great outdoors. When the trustees learned of LAYC's conservation program, they saw a perfect marriage of the foundation's education and nature priorities so that future generations continue to have the opportunities to enjoy and immerse in their natural surroundings. The foundation trustees believe that we need to invest in preserving and sustaining the environment. The foundation saw the need to continue investing in these critical programs to ensure youth still had access and were still connected in a virtual or hybrid setting to GED 
and job readiness training and case management services. Being a senior of a conservation member corp, it makes me feel like, you know, it, it helped me a lot to push myself forward in life and have more skills on myself. I got connected to LAYC by a person and they connect me to be a better successful person for real and push me forward to be have my goals prior to high levels, not only be like little mindset and it helped me a lot. And then LAYC just have me push myself forward and push myself like to get better levels of my skills. Like they told me every job is very important in life, no matter how big or small it is. It gave me experience to push myself and to push everybody else to be successful, to learn more skills in life. Because it's not only one skill you have, you have multiple skills in life. It is my honor to present the award to the Gosnell Foundation, which says, in appreciation of your commitment and support for environmental education and youth development work, helping to cultivate a new generation of youth leaders for a more sustainable future. Now let's hear from Kate Gillette, a Gosnell Foundation trustee. Hello, my name is Kate Gillette, and I am delighted to represent the John G. and Jean R. Gosnell Foundation today in accepting the Our Youth Matter Award from LAYC. On behalf of the Gosnell Foundation's Board of Directors and its founders, Jack and Jean Gosnell, I want to extend our deepest gratitude to the Latin American Youth Center staff and board. Thank you so very much. The Gosnell Foundation focuses on two key areas, nature preservation and youth education. Our mission is to ensure present and future generations access to educational opportunities and experiences in nature. We especially address the most vulnerable, youth who face barriers to success in the education system and natural environments that are at risk. When we learned of LAYC's Montgomery County Conservation Corps and the DC River Corps programs, we saw a perfect marriage of the foundation's education and nature priorities. While LAYC placed tremendous focus on responding to the emergency needs of their youth and families during the COVID crisis, they knew that keeping the youth connected and keeping their programs running was also critical. These programs provide an essential foundation for youth during the crisis, even if shifted to hybrid or virtual status. Furthermore, the foundation saw that engagement in nature was of greater value than ever to help combat the mental health challenges of the pandemic. So many of us found refuge in nature during the last 13 months since COVID-19 turned our lives upside down. Especially my fellow trustees and I who are mothers, we saw firsthand how exploring creeks and trails, planting, growing, and tending to the earth could give our children some semblance of control in a world that was spiraling out of their grip. The Gosnell Foundation was grateful to have this opportunity during the pandemic to cultivate the potential of youth who are enthusiastically interested in taking care of our environment and developing their leadership skills. Thank you again for this honor and LAYC's 2021 gala. We encourage other foundations, companies, and individuals to consider LAYC's conservation and river core programs when you're thinking about how to cultivate our youth and environment for generations to come. These gifts have an incredible impact at LAYC. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, we celebrate our youth and their accomplishments and honor leaders that have worked tirelessly to lift our communities in a time of great need. What a year. We're still standing and we're so grateful to all that have supported our work. This evening would not be possible without the contributions and hard work of so many. I want to first thank our LAYC board members for their support. You have been with us every step of the way. And I want to give a special thank you to our host committee for ensuring that this evening was a success. And LAYC staff, you rock. Thank you for all you do on behalf of our youth. To our sponsors, I'm grateful for your support, which has enabled our work at LAYC to continue. Thank you to Oak Point Charitable Foundation, Julie Jensen, Helene Cook and Dick Hall, Capital One, Morgan Stanley, Pepco, Geico, Rick and Diana England, and Wells Fargo. Helene, Dick, Julie, Lori, you have seen me grow up at LAYC and you are so special to me. Thank you for always believing in our youth. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we at the Latin American Youth Center have often said, 
We are doing the same work, but in a different way. For more than 50 years, LAYC proudly has stood beside our youth as they pursue their goals. It is our moral obligation to support and equip this next generation of leaders. And we at LAYC acknowledge we have to do better and be better for our youth. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of our youth. Over the past year, many of you rallied and supported our efforts, which have been a great benefit to our communities. We could not do this work without you. As always, LNYC will lead by listening to the feedback, insight, and concerns of those we serve, overcoming every new challenge as a united community. And right now, we'd like to thank everyone that made tonight possible, starting with our extraordinary leadership. Thank you, Lupe Quinteros Grady. Thank you to the Board of Directors. Thank you to the Gala Host Committee. And of course, your amazing LAYC staff. Thank you to you all.